Magnus, how have you utilized AI-powered chess engines like Stockfish or Lila Chess Zero to enhance your training uh, and preparation for high-level tournaments? I think there was a revolution when it comes to AI and chess, uh, late 2018, but mostly early 2019. Uh, I think there was a big difference back then, which players had teams and um, that had the capabilities of using the sort of early versions of neural networks. I think ever since then, it's become kind of more nor normalized that everybody uses kind of the same uh, neural nets and hybrids and also traditional engines. In what ways have AI-driven analysis tools uh, impacted your approach to studying and understanding complex chess positions? I think much like many other good chess players, my uh, understanding of certain positions, certain strategies has evolved a lot over the last uh, five, six years. And um, I think it has helped us understood how we see different factors, specifically as it uh, ascertains to more sort of long-term factors such as king safety and probably made us a little bit more um, you know susceptible to giving up material not for short-term short-term advantages as it's easier for humans but more for long-term advantages how has AI influenced your playing style especially in terms of adopting unconventional or computer uh, inspired moves in competitive chess I think uh, AI certainly has influenced both me and others in the way that we uh, in, in the way that we uh, we play. Um, I think a lot of people have, you know, broadened their horizons. We understand certain positions differently, uh, but at the end of the day, I think for most people, there's a balance to be found because we know that when we judge a position that's over the board, we judge it more based on what a human would do rather than um, rather than AI. What are your views on the role of AI in modern chess? And how have you adapted to the increased reliance on AI tools among your opponents? I think that uh, AI tools have, have been a good, good thing for, for chess, but it, it's also been a great equalizer. It's made it much easier for um, for players to to gain knowledge faster and so there's much less of a knowledge gap especially when it comes to uh to to openings now than than it used to be so it's become kind of easier to survive openings but harder to create uh, games but it's overall it's certainly enhanced our um understanding of the game a lot so i believe it's it's a good thing